The sun was very strong this summer. When the sun heats up the water, it becomes water vapor and it goes up to the sky. This is called evaporation. Oh, now I understand. That is the reason why the buckets are empty. The water evaporated. But where did the water go? Good question, sire. After the water becomes water vapor, it goes up in the sky. It's very cold there. Once the water vapor reaches the sky, it transforms into tiny water droplets and forms a cloud. Do you mean all the clouds in the sky are made of water droplets that come together? Exactly! This is called condensation. Then what happens? How do we get the water back? Once the cloud is formed, the water droplets become bigger and heavier. The cloud also gets bigger and cannot carry the water droplets anymore. So, they fall back to the ground. <gasps> That's rain! Is this where rain comes from? Yes! Rain is the heavy water droplets that fall out of the cloud. This is called precipitation. When it rains, water falls to the ground and gets collected. Can you think of places where the water gets collected? Hmm, places with a lot of water. Oh, water springs, lakes, rivers, and the sea. That's right, sire. This is called collection. And that is our last step in the water cycle. Let me repeat the steps. Evaporation. When the sun shines strongly, water evaporates and goes up to the sky. Condensation comes next. In the sky, due to the cold, water vapor becomes water droplets and forms a cloud. Then, precipitation. The water droplets are heavy and big. This is when it starts raining. And the last step? Collection. Water is collected in the sea, rivers, water springs, and lakes. And this process starts all over again. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Now I understand the water cycle.